it took members to crack a joke or two to allow them to relax. And honorable speaker, we must appreciate that this lady also, besides having been deputy governor, she lost as deputy governor in 2017 when Governor Malombe lost elections in 2017. But she recollected herself and ran for women rep under a UDA ticket in her home county. And you know Kitui County was not a UDA or a Kenya Kwanzaa stronghold. But she did extremely well. And Honorable Speaker, having come from an election that she had lost, Honorable Speaker, and she is now subjected to a grueling almost close to two hours with cameras, Honorable Speaker, focusing on her. And Honorable Speaker, I must declare that I did meet the nominee the following day, uh, I think a day or two at the Mashuja Day celebrations at Uhuru Gardens. And she was, she was indeed remorseful that uh, she was a bit shaken when she appeared for the interview. And I understood her, Honorable Speaker. And therefore, I only speak about her, Honorable Speaker, because I want to state it to the country and honorable members in this house that in consideration of everything that was tabled before the committee, there was absolutely nothing adverse against Penina Malonza. And her case now rests in the hands of the honorable members of this august house for you to decide what you want to do with her as the fate of the other 23 nominees rests order honorable members order order honorable members we shall listen to the majority leader in silence thank you thank you honorable speaker for protecting me but i know these honorable members know what I'm speaking about because many other Kenyans, Honorable Speaker, attend job interviews and perform in different ways and we all react in different ways to shock. We react in different ways to being in situations and environments that you are not used to, Honorable Speaker. And without seeming to be speaking for anybody, Honorable Speaker, I was saying that the fate of all these 24 nominees submitted to us by His Excellency the President, now rests in your hands, Honorable Members. But it's also worth noting, Honorable Speaker, that we are nominating or we are considering for approval Cabinet Secretary nominees who, if approved by this House, Honorable Speaker, and upon being sworn in, will now assume the offices of Cabinet Secretaries, Honorable Speaker. His Excellency the President has indicated when he addressed this House Honorable Speaker that he intends to ask the House, and he did request the House, to consider amending our standing orders Honorable Speaker to allow these Cabinet Secretaries to appear in this House Honorable Speaker, right where you are Honorable Speaker next to you, in the Civil Servants Bench Honorable Speaker, to be able to answer questions and statements from members of Parliament and from Kenyans Honorable Speaker so that as the people's representatives you are able to hold all these cabinet secretaries to account to ensure that they are serving the interests of the people we represent in the offices that they hold, Honorable Speaker. Let me just take this opportunity, Honorable Speaker, even as I beg Honorable Members to approve these names, Honorable Speaker, to just state it to the cabinet secretary nominees, God willing, if you are approved, let us not witness the hubris, the arrogance that we witnessed under the cabinet secretaries that served in the previous regime. They must appreciate that they have been stored the honor to serve in high office, to serve the people of Kenya. And as they come to this house, they must appreciate they are coming to appear before the people